All right, hey guys, uh, Sam with you here. Uh, we're midday on Tuesday, March 13th. Next coin uh, voted on uh, amongst the membership was for an analysis of Ethereum to the US dollar. I've got it up here on, on Coinbase. So this is a four hour chart, Ethereum to the dollar. We can see here now, just I, I just, uh, as I like to do, I like to start with a blank chart. <clears throat> we can see that, okay, well, we've got this significant resistance here. You know, are we heading back that low? I don't know, you gotta look at this here and go, mm, okay, well, so why, why does it stop here? Why does it stop here? You know, and if there's no technical confluence zone there, then you have to be a little bit suspect of it. So even if I just start pulling from swings, right? So we can see here that that was perfectly technical, right? Do you see that? <clears throat> swing, sl swing low, swing high, we go right to the 6182 and through the first target. Well, if I pull it up a little further, now we're two and through, here so we we've spiked down here so but you know note here now we're back in the golden zone is that relevant well you know i wouldn't i wouldn't ignore it <clears throat> but you know you have to look now and say okay well it's, it's given this break <clears throat> excuse me what that implies now given that break is that we know algos are on the other side of it so if we just do sort of the same process here and again this is kind of the reverse engineering that i talk about where you've got to kind of figure out what are they doing? Where, where are they? What pivots are they using? So if I go from this absolute rip down here, well, you can see here's 618 damn near to the tick. It fails. Now they get through it here, but ultimately, you know, if, if they do, they stay with it is a flip, but ultimately they get their target here and they actually get through that just by hair. So, you know, now you'd look here and say, mm, okay, well, that's interesting. Look at that. So for, if I go swing high to swing low, we're right to the 50. So I can promise you that's algorithms are selling it right there. Now their target is down here at 354. Are they gonna get there? Well, you know, that I, I would be a little surprised by that. That I moved that low from where we are at 684 down to, to 354. But it's certainly we can't, again, just like the other, we can't we can't rule it out. That's the target for that algorithm that sold it right there. And they will stay with that. Now if you're bullish, you kind of have to look at that and, 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 and go, okay, well, is there, any, is there any way I can get a pattern here that would support a bullish view? Well, the first thing you might do, just, t just knowing that that's there here, and we know it's down here below this, this pivot here. Well, if you're trying to get bullish here, we're, we're trying to, to identify whether or not that correction has completed. Because you've got just a perfect, from an LA perspective, doesn't get any prettier than this. You get a perfect ABC here. All right, and we've got, so let me I'll raise the degree here so we can dig in more. So let's go to, I like to put the corrections in yellow. Okay, so we, I mean, that it just is not, that's literally like out of Elliott 101. That just couldn't get any more technical than that. And we have, of course, the perfect, the perfect ABC subdivision within the B wave. I mean, it's just right out of your Elliott for dummies trading manual it just can't be any more clear than that okay well then you look at that and say okay well is that complete if i've got okay sam showed me i've got a perfect abc what does that mean here well you know of course we, we there's the potential here the possibility if we can come up with a a pattern that would work here that we'd have a one two so you can look at that and say, okay, well, there, there, I've had my ABC, it's corrected. Now I'm having a very deep second wave here. And re, not, not unreasonable to, to look at this and go, oh, okay, one, two, I'm going three, four, five. That, that's not unreasonable to propose that. You're, you've gone down deep enough here to where, you know, you'd be a little bit suspect of that. Ideally, we know the bulk of wave twos are between the 50 and the 786. It creates a stronger, a stronger potential move if we hold in that zone. Now, there are countless wave twos that have gone that deep. So we can't, you know, I wouldn't ignore that as a contender. But if we start to dig in here, this, this is starting to look less and less likely. One of the first things you can look now, I'm on a four hour chart here, I understand that here, but for one of the first things we can see here, if that's gonna be a pivot low, we'd be expecting a move to come off of that impulsively, or at least give us some sort of five wave structure. And all, we're, all, all I see here is that we're just struggling with chop, which would imply that we're still in a corrective mode here. 
So if we dig down on this a little more, we you know we can get a it, it, it's much, much like Bitcoin, not the prettiest sequence up here, but we can if we squeeze it and force it a little bit. You you can get a you can get a one wave in there. You know, maybe it's a diagonal. There, there, 10 Elliotitians would probably give you 10 different counts as to how we get a wave one on that. But it's it's there if you work hard enough to get it. So maybe a one, two, there's the three, there's the four, and we finish with this fifth. All right, so it's, it's a contender as a one. But this action here implies corrective. So you, you've got to look at that and say, okay, you know, if this starts to get hot all of a sudden and we get a big push out of here, maybe, maybe, you know, I can find a way to squeeze that into some sort of a diagonal, but it certainly doesn't look like it. What it looks like is that it's correct. It's still correcting. So it's correcting this move here. So it looks like we've got one more push down of some, of some length here. We, we could double bottom down here. I'm not saying that's not a possibility, but if we just think back to where, where that, that algo target is, which we know is below this yellow pivot line here, you know, are we, going, are we going that far? You know, again, it would be surprising. So let's consider an alternative. All right, so if I, if I take that off, all right, if this, if this is not a one-two, what, what, what is left from trying to organize it, which is all Elliott Wave is trying to do, is to organize this. Well, what does that look like? Well, it, 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 one possibility here, if we look at this, that looks like I've got five waves down here. It looks like I've got three waves here. So uh, one contender in the way that, that I have this as my primary count, remember that an a, that an WXY is just connecting two ABCs. So if this is the dominant ABC and we, we, we work from this high to this low, well, there's a W wave. Here's the corrective X wave. And then potentially we're just going down here to put in this Y wave. You know, is that is that a contender for a count that works well? Again, we we know pulling from swing high to swing low, right? Right to the 50. Can't get any more technical than that. So yeah, that's a contender. We we we've got to consider that as a possibility. Well, does if we're going to connect to ABCs, could this play as an ABC, right? So we're looking for the the Y wave to connect the second ABC. So the only way we could get that to count this way on the assumption that we're nearing the low is that we'd have something along these lines. Let me make that a little bigger. You know, could, does that work? That doesn't look like that C wave is finished yet. Looks like it's still got some more to go down here. So the A wave, that's a contender. The three waves into the B, right to the Vegas wave. I like that. Now let's, let's open this up a little bit more and go down to a smaller time frame. Okay, all we're trying to do is finish this up. Well, I, I can get a good clean five into that A wave. Here's my beautiful A, my B wave here. So if I start thinking and go, okay, one, two, you know, again, you're trying to see, do I have all the ingredients here that would suggest that I could be in the process of bottoming down here? Well, this looks more to me like if this is gonna resolve as a fifth wave, I've got some sort of one, two, we, we, we could, so right, if you're looking to, for it to be completed, you could make that case. You, you, you could structure, you've got five waves there. But again, we, we get this choppy sidewaysness. Now, does this look like a one, two, three, four? No, it doesn't. It does not look like a diagonal. We don't, we, the third wave here would be shorter. It just, it's, it's not completely disqualified, but it certainly doesn't look like the candidate. What looks more likely to me is that we have this underway that we've got the depth of the third and we're putting in some sort of a fourth here. So, you know, again, you, you just, you, I'm just, right now you can go like say, whatever, man, you're just moving numbers around. No, not entirely. You, you gotta try and look for probability and statistical advantage to support that. Yeah, I'm just moving numbers around, but, but I'm moving it based on what the market is offering here as a potential pattern that is setting up to complete. Well, let's qualify. You say, okay, well, for, let's forget about the numbers. Let's just work from the pivots. Again, what are the algorithms is doing. What have we done here? Here's the front run at the 50. So this sets up. Now here we're right, right, just tapping the Vegas wave. Now that looks a lot more to me. If this is going to resolve down here, we're going to complete as a five, that I've got a very simple second wave and then I've got complexity. So we potentially alt rule of alternation or the tendency, let's, let's say it that way. The tendency of alternation is so very simple correction in the second. We get a complex correction here in the fourth, at least complex relative to that. 
you know, the, stru the, the, the length of time here in this four relative to this two, not ideal. But we can make the case here that this sets up for one more push down. Now, can we come down here and finish in a fifth? And what does that do for us in the longer term? Well, does that still hold as, as, an, as a WXY putting in a correction down here? Is this, does that set up? Well, that's one possibility. One possibility. Okay, A, B, we finish into the fifth. That's for if you're bullish and you're looking for entry zone, my suggestion would be to wait to get more clarity here because that looks like the, it's just unresolved. It does not look resolved. We don't, we, we, we'd like to have a push down here, maybe some divergence here. It just looks like it's going, so we see here, we're just, we're just bouncing between the 60 and the 30 and we're sm damn near smack dab in the middle. We're just going sideways. So you really don't have any help from the oscillators. This needs to come down one more time to set up some divergence. It's not, nothing really there. This looks a whole lot better if we come down here and complete, we hit a target here, we set up for potentially a double bottom, which is you know kind, kind of where you'd be looking at. So if I just draw this over here, so you can make a case here that we've got, we've got this prior low here, sets us up for a double bottom for support, it's there. So it, would, would I be a buyer here? Absolutely, absolutely. But I wouldn't go very large there because you're trying to pick the turn. You're trying to pick the low. We would certainly be well beyond this this range here, right? So if we if we work from low to high, you know, here's the seven eight six. You could you know you could throw the eight eight seven on there, just kind of as a hail mary. You know, that's the very last stand. So that comes in potentially here. We get the 887 square root of 786. You can see the third tap the 786. We're getting this little triangle. Maybe, maybe. But here, here's the other count that you have to consider. So this is, this is certainly one to have on your, you know, so if you're going to divide your screen, you might have this count on one side and then split to the other side, set it up, have an alternate on the other side so you can kind of watch and see which one looks more likely to, to play out. Here, here's the more bearish scenario. This is here. This is a contender here to complete down here at, we'll call it, oh, what do we hear in the algo target? It's 585. So that is a contender. Now, here, here's the alternate count that we have to, we have to consider. All right, as, as I've suggested here, I would, I'll, uh, I'll leave that on here. I'm going to take this off. So we, I'm going to lower the degree here so I don't have to do that as many times. Okay, let me go down. I'll go down to a sub-micro. Okay. So here, here's the alternate, right? So we know we've got a five-wave sequence here potentially setting up to resolve down here to complete this fifth down here so that's a contender well here here's the other thing you got to pay attention to because this you can't rule this out so if this is play this potentially plays as a one two three four five now let me raise that degree so you can see what i'm doing we'll go to and i'll put that in in green okay do you see see this as a contender here Okay, so it, we, we certainly have five waves down. We have three waves. So, you know, we, we look at that and go, oh, okay, well, X wave, we're trying to connect two ABCs. Well, so your first thought is that that's an A wave, but you can't eliminate that as a one wave. This is a contender for a one, two. This subdivision down here, just setting up for a, a completed subdivision here that we'd see for an impulse wave into the third. That is a contender. Now, th this would be set you up for your fourth. So let me take this off, just declutter the chart. This is all just potential. But if we come down here and we complete this, we get that fifth wave down here and complete. Now we're no longer, we're not playing this as a one, two. Now we're contention, the, the contender here is that, let me put the wave on it so you can see it, is that you'd have that coming in. We, we go, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you told me WXY connects two ABCs. Well, that's right. So what what is that potentially? Got a five wave structure, right? That is a contender as an A wave. Let me take that up so you can kind of see what I'm trying to get to here. This is the very bearish scenario. So if that's going to finish as a three, four, five, then you have this setting up to get you down here. Now that's putting you all the way to 360, but that actually, in terms of the symmetry of the market, 
let me let me go back out to the four hours. You take a look at that and you say, could, does that does that make sense? Could that be what we're experiencing here? Well, you can't you can't rule it out. You can't rule that out. Up for the B, then we'd finish down here for the C. So A, B, you know, it's it's, it's hard to argue against that. <clears throat> so you look at it and you go, okay. All right, I, I'm cool with that. So I get it. I've got I've got potentially here an A B C, or I've got potentially here of a larger degree an A a B and a, and a big C coming down. How do you know? How do you know which one you're going to have? Well, you, you're you're you know the thing about Elliott Wave that that, is, that frustrates people as they try and apply it and use it is that the the hard truth is you don't know until after the fact. You don't know. So all you get are opportunities to position yourself for the potential for one of these counts to play out. So if this comes down here and we get all the things that we'd look for, we get a technical confluence down here, we get pattern, price, divergence in the oscillators, we get a little bump in volume, all of those things play out. You, you are certainly setting up the potential to just be playing into a B wave. So you have to look at that and go, okay, well, if the, on the larger degree, if that's a B wave, what are the characteristics of a B wave that I'm anticipating? Well, we're, we're gonna expect that to move in three waves. That's the only way you're going to know. But, but in A, B, C, if you get, if you get some mo enough distance in that C, if I bring this, yeah, if I bring that off, if you get enough distance in that, in that C wave here, it's indistinguishable from a one, two, three. I, I, you know, you, you'd be expecting five waves in the C. Now, here's where you can get a little help is that if it's impulsive, you don't get any help. If it ends as a diagonal and it doesn't stay as an impulse wave, then less likely to be a third. You know, I mean, there, there's, all, there's always a way that, that that could end up being, we could just have a one, two, one, two. I mean, there's a number of different ways that that can play. That's, that's part of the challenge with Elliott Wave is that you know, you're constantly looking for what, well, what else could it be? But if you get an impulse wave here, the point I'm trying to make in terms of when you're gonna know, you're not going to know until you see what happens in the four. Do you get a four five? Let's my, get my arrow over here. Do I get a four and does that come down in three and then set me up for the five? You are not going to know until you see that leg. If this is an ABC or just an A wave. You're not going to know, but you have you certainly have trading opportunities here. You got a trading opportunity right here to trade the B way, if you want to wait, if you want to be, you know, the more conservative approach would be get a pivot in down here, because right now we're just hypothetical. We don't know where that's going to pivot. You get a move off of this that's in five. It can be an A wave or it could be a one wave. The next trading opportunity is trading the B or the two, looking for the C or the three. Next trading opportunity down here where there's always a little more risk in the four, but if you get an impulsive wave here, then that increases the probability that you've got a one, two, three, We'd come down for the four, if we, we, if, which would not be unusual for us to move from here right into that, that zone we'd expect it between the 38 and the 23. If it's going to be a strong move, then we got a little target up here. That, then again, again, you know, you still have to get through the all the way back. That resistance is going to be sitting right there. You're going to have the 50. That's the first one you got to get through. Then you got to get through this one. So you are not going to be able to confirm this on the larger degree until you get through that 618 all the way up here. What's that, 1100? Sorry, man. That's just the reality of it. But again, that doesn't, that's not necessarily bad news. It's just where are the opportunities? Where can I get positioned for a low risk, potentially high return trade? Well, you know, if you're comfortable going short, you may have one setting up here. That just, just possibility, because that certainly could, we could have the ABC in, and now you got a one, two. Right? See, it's just always. What what are the possibilities? This could be a one two stop goes below the low. If you get stopped out, well, it was a three four, and we're going down for the five. Okay, so be it. You get stopped out. Get used to it. Now we go down. We put we've got a complete five wave sequence here. Is it an A wave? 
or is it an ABC? You don't know. You won't know. Do you come out of, of this in five? If you get five, the next trade is your B. Is it a B or a two? You're not going to know until you see what happens here. If you get stopped out, so be it. That's trading. Get used to it. You get stopped out. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe this is just a one, two. I mean, there's just all sorts of possibilities here. But don't take that as bad news and go, God damn, man, this, is, this Elliott Wave stuff, it can be 12 different things. How am I going to possibly trade it? You're missing the point of it. The point is not that you're going to know. The point is that you get an opportunity where you can put capital at risk with the possibility and the probability that at very least you're in a probability zone for that outcome to be realized. If you get stopped out, well, that's why you put a stop on it. You, you, I guarantee you, I don't care who you are, you're going to get stopped out more times than you're not. I get stopped out all the time. Yet I can continue to come back here and here's the discipline. It's the same thing every time. That's very easy to say. It took me years to get to that point. Years. It, you, just, you have to be willing to do it because the, I can absolutely guarantee you if you take seven losers in a row and on the eighth time you go, oh, I don't know, man, I have eight, seven users, losers in a row. I'm going to kind of wait and see how this one plays out. I guarantee you that's the one that goes. I, you, just, you have to take it. You have to take the trade. Or you're not trading. Now you're trying to outthink the market. It just, you know, so what I try to do for you is just demonstrate to you how consistent these patterns are. They're unbelievably consistent. Don't take, so you get up here and you don't take that sell because you, you think that we're, we're off to the races you know, that'll pivot right there and, you know, look, look at the returns here. You're, you're uncomfortable with this because you're not so sure. Oh, I don't know, man. It looks like that might go down for that, that, that B wave. Looks like we, we might be going down here and do something else. Guarantee that's the one that goes. You got to do the same thing. You don't take this. That'll be the one and completes in five. And then you got to do the exact same thing. Exact same. If that completes up here, you got to take the next 50. It's just, that's your job as a trader. It, it, and that, that it kind of, Makes you think, well, this is kind of boring doing the same thing all the time. <laughs> it, it, it's far from boring because it's so hard to do because you got to fight your emotions. That's what, that's what makes this so hard. So much of trading is doing the opposite of what all of your natural instincts are telling you. Market's going down. I can't be a buyer here. I got to wait till it starts going up. That is the wrong way to approach the market. Market's going up. Oh, man, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold, hold, hold. It's going to going to the moon. Well, that's when it'll reverse and you'll give back all your profit. You, you know, you, you have to have a way to organize the material. That's what Elliott Wave gives you. These are targets. Where do you absolutely know that your analysis is wrong? It's not based on drawdown. It's what is the market, where does the market tell you that you're wrong? Not your pocketbook, not your wallet. Where does the market say your analysis is incorrect? Try again. I'm, sh I'm showing them all to you here. That's all you get. Probabilities. Probabilities. All right, guys. I'll wrap it there.